Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Explore new revenue streams for your Webflow website in 2023 by integrating AdSense. This tutorial provides a comprehensive guide to the integration process helping you optimize ad performance on your site. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first of all, talking about AdSense, well, there is multiple kinds of AdSense. There is Google Ads, there is Tabula, there is Ezoic, there is Adstera. Well, there is multiple kinds of AdSense to start with. So the first thing to do is to decide which kind of AdSense you would like to have. So there is a bunch of options I said, guys. Make sure to go through a bunch of them, read about them, and choose the best one for you. Well, for me personally, I would give you my top three. Of course, the first is going to be Google Ads. So, I'm like on these three six points or nine points in here, you'll find Google AdSense in here. So, this is basically the top of the top, the best of the best, but it can be very hard to get integrated and accepted by them. On the other hand, there is Ads Terra. So let me just show you real quick. Ads um, Terra, like that. Yep, it is this one. Um, the thing is, this one doesn't have that much of updates since 2022. Uh, they don't update anything, the things that they have are very limited, but still, the payment is pretty decent and they have a pretty nice model. And to get accepted is very, very easy. So, I can show you here an example. I have already, uh, let me just refresh. So, here we go. I have already three websites that are being monetized in here. So, we have this one, and that one, and finally this one. So, and they are all active. And there is also, guys, Ezoic. So Ezoic is the same thing, uh, platform, but what it does basically is very, very interesting. You can join Ezoic to do two things at once. So the first thing is basically connecting your website. So here, let me just show you real quick. So you can here click and add a site and you can choose either to have a basic ad or Ezoic. So basic ads is basically Google Ads and Ezoic is basically their own ads. And it's very easy to access by Ezoic, but for basic ads, you have to go through the Google Ads process, which is very, 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 very long. That's why we are going to stick with Ezoic for this. Now for Webflow. For Webflow guys, you have to go and open your website. So open your website on Webflow. Very easy, very straightforward. Here is my account. Here I'm going to click on dashboard. And basically to connect anything that you have or any website that you have on Webflow with any one of these platforms that I've shown you. First thing is to follow this video step by step because uh, if you miss something, you will ruin the whole page. Second thing is don't put in your mind the idea that you are going to submit your website on Ezoic. Then you go to Ads Terra and submit your website in them. Go to Google Ads and submit your website in Google Ads. Well, once you add one code of this code that they will give you, so it will be a code like that, you should add to your website, you can't really add another. Because if they have caught you doing that, your website is not only going to get shut down, you will even lose the upcoming ad revenue forever on your account. So put that in mind, guys. Now, let's keep continuing. For connecting anything to one of these apps, you should simply get and copy your URL. Very easy, very straightforward. So, guys, to copy the URL, simply just head here and copy it, you might think. Go to here, for example, in Astera, paste it. Go here, get that, and add. Well, yeah, for Astera, this is the case. Very easy and very straightforward. Let's try it with this one. Save. And as you can see, this is like doesn't accept to enter a subdomain. What is a subdomain? Basically, 
a domain will come with a domain name and the last for example that comes etc the thing that comes before the points is basically called subdomain basically it can be a1 a2 a3 so you can open multiple subdomains in one domain well to add for example one domain you can for example write webflow but webflow.io already exists of course it does exist it, they wouldn't actually allow you to take that domain from them so basically you have to get a premium domain which ends with .com and add it to your webflow account so you have to go to the settings and through the settings you have to add a custom domain how to do so simply you can just search here and search for the domain uh, where a place where you can put your uh, like uh, domain name your private domain name or you can go to plans and through plans the, the itself they will allow you to buy a domain name from them so as you can see here uh, by getting the premium domain you will be able to add a custom domain name which will allow you eventually to connect it to this platform that I have shown you so upgrade to basic for example you will have to pay around 168 per year it will be due today and then what you'll have to do it is simply a new access site access will be opened for you that will be allowing you to add a custom domain the custom domain is the same domain that you'll be adding in here on Ezoic or on Google Ads. Since Adsera is very easy and very straightforward, you don't really have to go through all of that uh, uh, stuff. It's very uh, like you should cho choose something and you will go for it. So here, let me just choose this for example. Got it? And just like that, they will give you a code. So now we have to wait a little bit until they allow us to get the code. But in general, make sure guys to choose uh, a banner or something. Um, here we go. So here we can get the code, copy it. And simply what you should do is to go to your site. And here, let me just go back. So a custom code. And here, as you can see, to allow custom code, you have to add a plan to the site. So you will be always planning, uh, playing with the plan. So every kind of platform that uh, allows you to build a website inside of it, you can't really edit anything that kind of deep without having a premium plan. So this one can give you the content editor, which will allow you to actually edit the, the, the code. And basically what you would do later on is after you find the first head, uh, in the code you should next to it or after it directly uh, paste the code that you have got through this one and just like that you will be able to connect your website on webflow to any kind of adsense platform it is so easy guys don't you think that well if one of you can start advertising for their own websites and monetize their websites and start getting ad revenue right now and today so, yeah guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.